Hi, I'm Dr. Sean. I'm an Associate Consultant Psychiatrist with the Institute of Mental Health, National Addictions Management Service. And today I'm going to talk about drug addiction, what are some of the signs and symptoms to look out for, and uh, how one can seek help. So drug addiction is a chronic relapsing brain disease characterized by compulsive drug use despite the harmful consequences in one's life. What these drugs do is they hijack the brain's reward system and have um, seemingly desirable effects that are rapid in onset and um, particularly reinforcing. However, over time, the affected individual finds that they need to use more and more of the same drug to maintain its effects, to counter withdrawal symptoms and to function normally. Commonly, drug addiction leads to dysfunction in one's social relationships and difficulty maintaining their job or keeping up with schooling work. One of the big concerns of drug use in Singapore is the early onset of uh, drug use in the youth and young adults. The latest drug statistics from the Central Narcotics Bureau in 2020 showed that uh, more than 60% of new drug abusers arrested were below the age of 30. Also, the addiction landscape in Singapore is changing, with emerging challenges such as new psychoactive substances, and doctors are still trying to better understand the effects of such drugs. Um, what are some symptoms and signs of drug addiction? Um, the affected person may have medical, psychiatric, or social complications. Medical complications could include physical withdrawal states, confusion, or malnourishment. Um, the affected person may also have difficulties with their sleep or uh, mood disturbances such as irritability and depression. If the condition is severe, one may have psychotic symptoms such as hallucinations, such as hearing voices, or very paranoid thinking. Socially, families may notice the person becoming more socially withdrawn from them. Um, more family conflicts and uh, relationship breakdowns may easily arise, and absenteeism from work or school refusal with academic decline may be noticed as well. So what can be done to uh, seek help for the affected individual? I think firstly, it would be important to bring them to see a general practitioner or a doctor in a hospital to check on their physical and medical health status. Um, if they're acutely medically unwell, they can get treatment from the doctor there. If they're in withdrawal, options of detox and rehab can also be discussed. Once they have detox off the drugs, they can then meaningfully engage in individual or group therapy at NAMS or external agencies like WeCare, Singapore Anti-Narcotics Association or Narcotics Anonymous. Also not forgetting uh, family and friends of the affected individual, it is paramount to involve them in the care of uh, these individuals, um, to give them that support, to help them reintegrate back into society. Uh, and we do know that addiction commonly encroaches beyond the individual, affecting the people around them. And their loved ones may need their emotional support and counselling, which can also be uh, obtained at these recovery centres I just mentioned.